Hello there, this is Dave Allen for Mactronic Questions and today we're having a look at Alfred. And we'll start off by looking at the Alfred preferences in version 2. Now you see I've set up the Alfred hotkey to be command space and what I did was to rejig the spotlight command which was command space to be option space. So now if I press command space so now that Alfred's come up, I can start putting things in there to get things started. Up until now, most times I've been using it just for a program launcher. So if I type in DD, it'll open up Dragon Dictate for me. You see it's first in the list. But it also gives me the options of Drobo Dashboard and Dasseri Desktop. So, um, or I could type in uh, Dragon and it's given me some different answers there. And basically it's um, working on some fuzzy logic there. So. Generally, you don't have to type in a couple of letters and you can start getting into your uh, applications really quickly. Also, what you can do is you can tell it to start searching in various places. So, for instance, if I start with a G and then start with a Mac 20Q, so you go, it finds all the Mac 20Q stuff there now. So, now when it's doing searches, there's a thing in here where let's go through features. This thing here, you set up fallback results. So when I'm doing a search there, a standard search, it'll search through Google first of all, then it'll look in Amazon and Wikipedia and YouTube and Facebook. And you can even add more as well. So for instance, if I click on this one here, do a web search, I can tell it that I want it to look through Ask For or LinkedIn or YouTube or Facebook. I'll tell it to ask a Wolfram. So let's click on Save. So now if I go back into my searching again, so let's do... Command spacebar, start doing a search for shear. Now you can see now it's looking through all those different places there. So also what you can do is if you start typing in something like uh, IMDB, it'll start searching IMDB for stuff. So, so this is a TV program I've been watching lately. And now if I click on that, it's going to go and find the results for Pretty Little Liars in IMDB. So that's cool, isn't it? So that's, you've got a few things there that you can go looking for. Now, it does work with other applications as well, and uh, one that's quite useful is the fact that it works with iTunes. So in iTunes, go to the General tab there. I've got it set up so that's with Command, Control, and Enter. It brings up the mini player. So that's pretty useful. So now I can start looking for, say, I want to look over my Bowie tracks. So now I can go to Best of Bowie or any ones of these here and get through to wherever it is I want to uh, get playing. I can tell it to pause, and that was going through the standard Alfred window there. By the way, if you want to get to your preferences, then you go to this thing here, click on that button there, and you're in preferences. If you could just do me the favour of clicking on the like button, I'd appreciate it. Thanks. Another one that is very useful for me is this one here with one password. So let's do command spacebar again, and do 1p and mac20q. So now what it's going to do is going to go and log into my domain for Mac 20 questions. How about that then? Save me uh, going through something else to get into my uh, WordPress domain. Let's go back into our preferences again and see what else we can do. You've got a uh, clipboard in there as well, so this is kind of useful. So my clipboard is uh, Option, Command and C. It says Option, Command C and at the top of the list there I've got all snippets. So let's click on that, and I've just got the one snippet in there at the moment. So let's go back into our preferences again. Snippets. Let's make a snippet. So what you do is you click on this thing here and type a name for the snippet. So there's our test snippet. Keyword can be um, test as well. And we'll put a snippet in there. So that's a snippet, and I'm going to click on save. Option Command C. So now I can tap on this one here for snippets, and I've got one called Test, and I've got one called YouTube Info. Let's escape out of that there. So let's go uh, Option Command C and start typing in uh, Test. And now it's gone straight into the snippet called Test. Or if I've got the other one there, which is called YouTube Info. So that's quite useful. It's not going to take over from having Text Expander doing stuff for you, but it's um, fairly handy all the same for a few bits and pieces. Let's escape out of that. Do Option Command and C again. Go back into this here. And you see here are all the snippets that I've been using lately. There are quite a few clips kept in the clipboard viewer, but if I get down to this one at the bottom here, I can go further down by using the down arrow. 
So you can really make a lot of use out of uh, Alfred by making good use of your keyboard. You don't need to be running to your mouse or to your magic trackpad. Although I do love my magic trackpad. It does an awful lot for me. Much better than using a mouse. Since I've had this iMac, I haven't gone back to using a mouse even once. There you go. Okay, so that's the first uh, look at uh, what you can do with Alfred. And we're going to the next one where we're going to be having a look at other things such as workflows. And uh, things that you can do with workflows. This simple folders filter, for instance. So that one gives me a filter which opens just folders. So if I do command space, type in an F and then a space. And then search folders only. Or if I just uh, type in an F, then a space and then start... Uh, Type in something that just shows me the folders. So there you go. A uh, quick look at the first few things we can do with Alfred. And in the next one, we're going to have a look at some of the nitty gritty of things like workflows. Thanks for watching the video. And why don't you check out the other videos? Here's two of them. There's one video there and one video there that you can click on and go and have a look at now. And don't forget that you can also subscribe. Talk to you again soon. Bye bye now.